Hi guys, Ricky Martin here in a very fancy cinema. Today I'm in Bristol at world-renowned animation studio Ardman. One of Ardman's current projects is a game collaboration between Digix Art Studio and Bandai Namco. More specifically, Ardman is designing and building the look that will set this game apart from anything else. Today, we'll speak to art director Bram Tweem about the journey that led to the game's unique style. This is 11.11, memories retold behind the scenes. I'm Bram Tweem and I'm the art director for 11.11, so it's my job to design, tickle and tease the visuals until they convey the story and moods that we want. So when I first heard about the project and the fact that, that Yoan was keen to use an artistic style, I got very excited about plundering art history. World War I is probably largely responsible for kick-starting much of modernism in the 20th century. So when we went to Puy de Fou in France, it was a good opportunity for me to get a feel for the scope of the story and it, it did have a, quite an influence on the art style itself. Futurism and Cubism I was very keen on because I liked the, ex sort of the expressive nature and the rigidity of the styles. I did a, f a couple of sort of tests on my own and um, it's, it's fairly soon it became quite apparent that because they were quite brutalist and uh, quite minimal in, in their look, they might be associated with uh, low poly kind of stuff which is very prevalent in the gaming industry so we wanted to get away from that and um, it just seemed more sensible to go for a more seductive art form. At one stage we were thinking of perhaps pursuing um, impressionism a bit more vehemently than we currently do but as we were with the modernist movements I decided it would be more sensible to not restrict ourselves in any way so I decided to just pick a few painters that I like like uh, Turner, who was able to like uh, convey uh, an awful amount of emotion and mood with very little detail, and then other painters like Monet, who've got a very interesting colour palette that they use. But uh, beyond that, there was um, Alexander Petrov, who's a, a Russian artist who does oil on glass animations, and that in particular is a theme that we pursued when we were developing the shader itself. After this, we were lucky to work with artists such as Giorgio, who has a wonderful use of light and paint strokes to help us realise the look we were going for. We started wondering about the possibilities of how to move strokes, etc., within the game to highlight certain aspects of the game and what colours we could use to convey the moods correctly. And just the massive scope, generally, of this particular story. So we decided to go for something which is more just a painterly take on visuals. So what I'm hoping the players will feel once they've played this game is that they've engaged with two characters who've been through an awful lot.